Dear students, uh, today I am going to teach you a very important topic of maths. My name is Mr. Jawal Banchal and uh, my channel's name is a Fortune Engineering and Maths by Jawal sir. So do attach with me by my channel. Please like and subscribe the channel. It will be very helpful for your study in maths of 11-12 science or you are in a diploma or you are in a degree engineering. Uh, welcome to another video of maths. Now today I am going to teach you about the very important method of integration and the method is integration by partial fraction. So what is a partial fraction and why it is applicable in the integration? See. Let us have one example. Uh, the example is 4x upon x minus 1 into x plus 3 dx. Let's have this as an example. Now we all know that there is that there is no rule of a division in the integration. So for the for doing the integration of this term, we have to do something like we will separate this term by using partial fraction. Now, what is the method? Solution. Let this 4x upon x minus 1 and x plus 3 as a, a upon x minus 1, b upon x plus 3. So, how many means whatever the factors are there, then give particular x minus 1 as a, x plus 3 as a b. If third factor is there, then we will produce C. Okay. Now take the LCM. So 4x A x plus 3 B x minus. Now uh, from both the sides, LCM get cancelled. So no need to write the LCM. Now give it to the equation number one. For finding A, for finding A, always take the denominator of A as a zero. So x minus 1 is 0. So x is equal to 1. So we put putting in 1. So putting in 1 that will give us 4 into 1 a 1 plus 3 b 1 minus 1. So it will become 4 into 4 plus 0. So the answer a is equal to 1. So value of a is 1. We achieved the value of a is 1. Now similarly for finding b. So if you want to find a b, then again repeat the same procedure. The procedure is let x plus 3 as a 0. So x is equal to minus 3. Again putting in 1. So we will put the value of x as a minus 3 into the equation number 1. So 4 into minus 3 that is equal to a minus 3 plus 3 b minus 3 minus 3. So we are putting this x is equal to minus 3 into this equation number 1. Let me bracket it or highlight it. So you can easily have the values. Now this minus 3 plus 3 becomes 0. So whole term will become 0. And this is the minus 4b. So b will become minus 12 upon minus 4. So b will become 3. So the value of b is 3. Now ultimately we have find both the values of a and b. Now we want to find the integration of this. Now this integration is equal to this. And this term is equal to this. So the integral after putting the values of a and b is i barabar integration a. So what is the value of a? That is 1. The 1 upon x minus 1 plus b. That is 3 upon x plus 3. And dx is there which shows that the integration is with respect to x. Now do the integration because these both the terms are individual and having one power. So we can assume this x minus 1 as x. So 1 upon x as a rule log of x and this 3 log of 
x plus 3 plus c because it's an indefinite integration. Now the next step is x minus 1 log of x plus 3 raised to 3. Now addition is converted into multiplication. So the answer is x minus 1 x plus 3 cube. Let me produce mode over there because logarithm can't be a negative term. So this is the method which is useful for finding the partial fraction means integration by using partial fraction and uh, you will get uh, individual terms in spite of the division term. So whole the term is uh, converted into the individual term and we can directly apply the integration and we will get the answer. Okay. Uh, hello friends, uh, I hope that uh, you enjoy the session of this uh, integration by using partial fraction method. Now, my channel's name is a Fortune Engine. As you know, Fortune Engine Maths by Jawal Sir. And my class is situated in a Vadodara. So, if you want to marry, means any query in Maths, come to me. I will help you. And also, find and subscribe my channel on YouTube. It will be very useful.